All right, you guys. So in this video, we are going to go over one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite features about my fitness pal, which is my foods. Now, if you look here, there's a bunch of foods that I've already created before. And so what this allows you to do is um, allows you to eat out, uh, eat out comfortably with uh, certain restaurants and knowing what you're getting with uh, certain restaurants uh, as far as macros and calories go. So, for example, a very popular one is Chipotle. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and go to... So, a lot of fast food restaurants, um, they have nutrition calculators. Uh, I believe Panda Express has one, uh, El Pollo Loco, Chipotle, obviously. There's a couple that have them, and um, if you like these foods, this could be really helpful because you can find out the macros uh, what they should be and you can apply them to my fitness pal so let me show you what I'm talking about so for example let's say you want to have a burrito bowl and I'll just pick chicken brown rice black beans let's get some cheese in there some heat of vegetables and some guac again always want guac and then right here at the bottom it shows you the calories how much fat you get uh, how many carbs and how much protein and so why we care about this is because those are the macros and I'm going to show you how to put these into my fitness pal and so you can keep them in there so you never really have to keep always go back here you can if you always get the same thing from Chipotle you can just uh, save it in my fitness pal and uh, just add it really quickly instead of having to go to all these websites all the time so I'm gonna minimize this so if we look at our foods let's go to the bottom where it says create a new food it's gonna ask you what the brand name is so for this example we'll do Chipotle Chipotle we'll just say uh, burrito bowl with you don't have to do this but I, I, I just want to know exactly what I get so brown rice black beans fajita vegetables what else do we get uh, cheese and guac and whatever else is on there um, let's see did I get cheese and guac okay cool so now I'll have them side by side what we can do is add these to here so now that we have our let's go to serving size I'll just do one bowl oops and then serving per container one oops just put one there we go. So now you go to the website, find out how many calories. So this burrito bowl that I have is 860 calories. So we just type in 860. The total carbs are 71. Protein is 52. And fat is 43.5. Now, uh, you don't have to do this part, but I usually like to put the sodium and the potassium uh, just to Get a little more accurate um, you don't necessarily have to track anything like that but I like to so let's do this uh, sodium if you if you wanted to you can also do this potassium uh, oh they don't have potassium on here but okay so now we just press okay and then there we go it's on there now let's say I have a second one for whatever reason I go to my foods and you find it, it's at the top right here, burrito bowl, chicken, brown rice. You just click it to see more. And then it shows you all the calories. And then you just, next time you have it, you just add it from there. And it's really helpful if you want to eat out. Uh, let's do one more example. Let's do uh, one of my other favorite ones, which is Panda Express. So if we go to uh, entrees. See, so, yeah, if I if I hover over something, it says add to nutrition calculator. 
and then right here it shows us what it has. We can even view details to shoot to show more nutrition facts if we wanted to. But for now, let's say I want grilled teri teriyaki chicken. So we add this to nutrition calculator. So that's like one entree or one of the uh, one of the little uh, sides on the entree. Let's say I want grilled chicken, grilled teriyaki chicken, and Let's do honey walnut shrimp because everyone loves honey walnut shrimp. Add that. So now it says two items right here. And that's what we got. So now we need our uh, sides. So we go to sides. Now I like to do half. So you get the cool thing about this is you can go half and half also. So let's do half mixed veggies, half uh, brown rice, or whatever fits you. Then here. So you got half brown steamed rice, half mixed veggies, grilled chicken ter or grilled teriyaki chicken, and honey walnut shrimp. And then at the bottom, just put the nutrition details. And again, on my fitness pal, what we would do is go to the bottom, create new food, and you go through do the same thing. So this is Panda Express chicken. So we got uh, teriyaki chicken. Honey, walnut, shrimp, half veggies, half brown rice. Then we do just one entree or plate or whatever. And then again, 910 calories from what it shows us right here. Carbs is, where you at? 94 carbs, dang, protein, 55 grams of protein and total fat. 38.5 add that now see it says to add a couple more things if you want just to be more accurate but we won't for now and then there we go we have another uh, we just added it again if you want to check where it's at you go to my foods and it right there it's at the top and as you can see, I'm gonna delete these because I already have these I believe but as you can see I have a bunch of I have some from a bunch of different Chipotle meals, Claim Jumpers, Panda Express, what else? I got Starbucks on here, El Pollo Loco, Fit Eats, uh, Pizza, Togo's, and just some other ones that I've created. Like if let's say you have your own little recipe, you can also make that. Um, if you've made something from scratch, you can add the macros and calories after you've added it all up from the nutrition labels at home. And yeah, so this is a cool way to eat out and uh, be, con uh, be confident in what you're eating. And that is it for this video, you guys. If you guys, uh, we will show you a couple of our favorite post-workout meals and everything. But that is it for this lesson. I will see you guys on the next one.